This is a video of a patient's flexible laryngoscopy who presents for allergic laryngitis. Uh, the patient has severe pecan allergy and for two weeks out of the year during the pecan pollen bloom has significant postnasal drainage and throat irritation becoming essentially aphonic during this period of time. However, during the remainder of the year is essentially asymptomatic with regards to these throat and voice symptoms. What we are going to see on this video is the significant thick postnasal drainage and laryngeal edema that results in the pecan allergy-induced laryngitis. Uh, in addition, significant pooling of secretions is out of uh, the ordinary with what I would expect to see on a typical exam, even for someone experiencing a mild laryngitis picture. Here we are with the flexible scope. We're looking in the back of the nose. That's the left eustachian tube, the right eustachian tube, and a scar in the midline where the patient's adenoids were removed when he was young. We're now looking down. This is the space behind the soft palate. We see some inflammatory, sticky secretions that are induced from the allergic response from the pecan pollen. That's the back of the tongue. Sticking up out at us is the epiglottis with bridging tenacious mucus, again triggered by the allergies, which is going to the posterior pharyngeal wall. We're looking down now at the vocal cords, which are swollen. Behind the vocal cords is the esophagus with swollen inflammatory mucus. This is a picture of inflammatory allergic laryngitis. The patient has mild nasal symptoms, and predominantly these voice box symptoms are the result of his pecan allergy. Thanks for watching.